Hello everyone, uh, this is another quick video tutorial from MindTheGap. I'll be showing you how to download and use the app on your phone to uh, view live video recording from your drone and also how to take pictures with it. Uh, and yeah, it's very straightforward, so let's go and do it. So first of all, um, either you have an iPhone or an Android phone, uh, all you have to do is obviously go into your app um, Play Store or Google Play, which is my case, and and then just um, as the manual shows um, from here, um, if you go into page eight, it's quite easy to see. Yeah, so there you go. It tells you to go into your Android uh, app download uh, page or to your iOS and download the app. So you can either do it that way or if you're more advanced just scan those QR codes and that will basically get you straight to the uh, app and you can then download it rather than searching for it. But either way it's quite easy and straightforward. So um, what we're going to do here is, let me just unlock my phone again, so yeah I've Download it and uninstall it and just gonna download it again so you guys can see it. So you go into drone go, search for it, and uh, it comes on the top, go there, and then just press the install. Yeah, accept. So um it's only a 19 meg file. You can either obviously use your data or connect to Wi-Fi in either way, doesn't matter. Uh, so once the app is installed on your phone um, the next bit is even easier so the way it works is you need to turn on your your drone it will then broadcast a wireless signal or radio signal and then you have to also switch on the Wi-Fi on your phone and on your Wi-Fi discovery you will then see the drone broadcasting and then you just connect to that network and boom, you both are connected. Um, so, just waiting for it to install. Okay, it's there, as you can see. So if I open it, just so you guys have a look. So that's how it looks. And that's how it is. Okay, so um, we got the app installed. So what I'm gonna do next is connect my phone into the uh, controller into this adapter that came with a remote so just adjust it there like so uh, then I need to power on the drone let me bring this closer so obviously you guys will know how to do this so just switch it back on As you can see the lights are flashing and then I have to um, connect my phone to my to the Wi-Fi signal that the drone is broadcasting so in order to do that all I need to do is go into my Wi-Fi settings currently I connected to my um, home network possibly almost likely yeah so in a minute uh, the drone oh, there we go it's that one there second down so all I need to do is click on it and then press connect Okay, connected. So I can come out of here. Okay, so uh, phone and drone are both in on the same network. Next, what I need to do is to open the drone go up and then just press the start button, like so. And here we have it. The drone is now showing live feed on the phone as you can see uh, fortunately the camera quality is not that great but you guys can have an idea yeah the downside is the battery life uh, which is about seven minutes and um, and it takes up to an hour to recharge so that's the only pain other than that it's really really fun to um, to play with um, I don't regret buying it 
it's a good upgrade last year i was using an helicopter and then uh, this year i got this drone and who knows maybe in, uh, in a few months i'll be you know upgrading to a more serious drone but yeah so far i'm really loving this drone uh the final thing i wanted to show you guys is um so when you're using the um the phone app so you press that button to start recording and that button to take a picture uh while is the the drone is flying i find it quite cool so um and then you can access the content in that folder or you go straight to your um, picture gallery as well so that's quite straightforward and there you have it um, please leave any comments below uh, if you need more assistance with this drone if you want me to do any other video um like press the like button if you enjoy this tutorial um, and let me know how i can improve my videos as well thank you